Welcome back to the garden. I done goofed. I'll show ya. A lot of you probably already knew this was gonna happen, but I had to learn the hard way. Overseeding. Way too many. Way too many. Way too many. My lesson learned is to not do this next time and to properly sow my plants. I can still do random seeding, but they. Whew, look at this. They're bolting. These are all bolting, so they're gonna stay. Look at this. There's my pak choy. So I pretty much done goofed my salad greens this year. I mean, the lettuce and uh, the lettuce and uh, spinach are not doing too bad. You can see, but they're still way too, way too crowded. Way too crowded. Um, lesson learned not to do that next time so i'm kind of sad because we should be having by now we would be eating salad and lots of it but no <clears throat> this is what we got this is what we're stuck with and another thing i done goofed i'm pretty sure is i had a bunch remember all the uh herbs i tossed in here well i don't know what's growing to be honest it just seems like the dill is taking over and all that other special plants I put in here, nothing. So note to self, next time when I have special herbs, I'm going to try out, I'm not just going to toss them in the garden. I am going to actually put them in pots so I can have my special herbs that I'm trying out in pots so I can make sure they actually grow. You know what I'm saying? Because speaking of special herbs, I got these that I'm going to try out. Lion's ear. Euphoriant in Africa. Now I heard I want more shamanic seeds for my garden. Um, and I heard that these have similar qualities to cannabis, but I'm not, uh, I can't be certain on that. Um, it does say euphoriant in Africa, but anyways, it's a, that's something I've been wanting to try growing. And, um, this I thought was really cool. Maui lime basil, nice pungent lime flavor. So it's a lime freaking basil. So those are some new seeds that I'm going to not randomly throw into the garden. I'm actually going to sow them directly into a pot. <sighs> well. There's no use uh, crying over spilled seeds, so um, I'm going to it's just note to self for next year not to do the same mistakes I did this year. But what isn't a mistake is everything that's growing. I'm going to show you uh, what's happening. Mints, bam. There's lots of stuff coming up in here. There's pineapple weed. There's chocolate mint. That's some uh, daisies, oxeye daisies from the wild I brought here. Um, check out the calla lilies. Canna, calla, calla, canna lily? One of the two. Pretty sure it's calla. One of you will know. I don't have the thing anymore. But they're doing good. Flowers. These catnips are massive. And you can see everything else in the herb garden is doing grand. We have all sorts of stuff coming up in here that I can't even begin to tell you what's in here because I honestly don't know what everything is. So I'm just going to have to let them all grow. And uh, the popcorn, I cleaned this out a bit, and the popcorn's finally, finally coming up. Kind of sparsely, but got that uh, bean there because I planted some beans along the side just for the heck of it have more beans and uh the red beans over here are doing really well now <clears throat> this blight uh i got somebody in the comments told me that this is probably blight is what's going on that carries in the wind which i had no idea i've never dealt with it before but they got hit the beans got hit as well and not a lot have been hit by this weird blight if you're wondering what i'm talking about you can see it hit the potatoes and it made a lot of their leaves 
sad. So apparently that's what it could be. Type of type of blight or uh, of sorts is it has blown because speaking of wind, it's windy right now. But it's been really, really, really windy and not a lot of rain, so I'm wondering if it's just blowing the blight is blowing around like crazy. But I'm not I'm not too sure. It's worth noting. I've never uh, dealt with that yet, so you can see a flower down here. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. The lilies in the forest garden. The wild uh, swamp gooseberries are doing really well now that I've put them in this area, and I'm trying to make it more like their environment. They're doing really well. Blueberries are doing good. Nice and happy. The big hollyhock popping up in here. Echinaceas are looking really nice and tall now that I've sort of weaned through them. Like some of these guys could get pulled out still. But like look at the size of this one. That's what we're talking about. Look at that fever few. Looking really nice. Smells really good. The sumac. Um, the currants. Check this out. The little blueberry. Well, blueberries, green berries. Not done yet. Oh, they're really nice. Never tried a current, so that's gonna be cool. Raspberries have been in full bloom. The, uh, oh, look at that. Speaking of bloom, <laughs> these are the first blossoms from the rose, the wild rose. We have these roses all over the place here in Canada. It's beautiful. Look at the size of this rhubarb. Shooting up his giant flower and stalk. Look at all the seeds pods that are starting on there too. So that's pretty exciting. These guys, the irises, have gone full bloom as well. Gorgeous. Attracting the pollinators. And I don't remember if I showed anybody this, but I threw some uh, melons and watermelon, cantaloupe and watermelon, which are both uh, grown locally um, from a local grower, so they're climatized. I've been really wanting to try to grow melons for a long time. It would be really neat. There's a little tiny shoot coming up right there. First one I've seen, so... So wildflowers, really nice. And this garden is all over the place. I really got rid of all the radishes because we don't need them. And yeah, the bro the uh, cabbages look good. And I've been moving some of the other brassicas over from the over over uh, that guy over there. I'll go over there in a sec. But I've been weaning through them and I've been trying to replant some over here. So we can save some and have more different brassicas in different garden beds. These carrots have completely uh, taken over. The Anasazi corn. It's really happy now, which is exciting. And I did plant the beans now, and I planted the squash. Yesterday I planted the squash. Oh, look. Hello, beans. Starting to come up. Neat. Sweet. So the Three Sisters Garden is starting to starting to grow. It's starting to look good. Artichokes. They really do look like thistles now. <laughs> it's pretty cool. A sorghum. I did make this pot, which I planted squash and watermelon in, because apparently they grow good together. And we'll see what we get out of that. That would be pretty sweet. Now this bed here, it is do it's doing its thing. But a lot of the plants are really struggling. So I think, um, I don't know if it's because, I don't think it's because it's, it's too low, so they're not getting enough sun. I think it's because the soil in here, this isn't my soil. I didn't put the soil in there. I actually got this from the landlady. So it already had previous soil in it. And, uh... I don't think it's fertile, so very fertile at least. So, well, I mean, we'll just see how it goes. We'll see how this, the peas and everything else looks. But uh, note to self, put a ton of compost in there. 
That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to transplant this rhubarb. He looks like he's going to die. Well, he might be, uh, he might be okay. Might just have to establish. Giant sun gold sunflowers. Starting to come up. And tobaccos. I actually got, my dad brought two tobacco plants over. And this is the one, Virginia gold tobacco. He's looking nice. And all these are just random tobaccos. Some of them are weeds, so the wild amaranth, pull them out of there, all that stuff. So, looking really good. This is the other tobacco he gave me. I planted them in with the uh, tomatoes and stuff. It's the Ahus, Ahus tobacco, It's pretty cool. I love tobaccos, well, I just love the nightshades. Nightshade family, so neat. Very cool family of plants. I wanna check this out. Parsnips. Yay, little parsnip boys. Coming up. Oh, and I did plant the uh, gold nugget tomatoes directly. If you remember that, and check it out. That's one right there. Gold nugget tomato. A little baby. There's another one over here, but he's pretty sad. So, but besides that, all the, um, there's some suckers on these guys I'll have to take off and I'm going to grow them, let them grow nicely and direct them where I need to. But they're all really happy. And you can also see lots of basils. Which is neat. We got a lot of basil coming up amongst them. Now I did plant some other things actually. The okras, boom. Look at that. Okra, like crazy. I don't know what the heck this is. What is this? What is this? You ain't no okra, what are you? It smells, it's like a nightshade. I don't even know, but he's, he's not an okra. Thought he was, but no he's not. These are the okras. Gorgeous. Oh, I found this, by the way. Edible tobacco uh, apparently is a thing. So I decided, to, that's another one of the fancy uh, new seeds from that same company, the seeds I showed you earlier. I put them in here. Uh, and we'll see what happens there. Edible tobacco, who would have thought on the package it says edibility is not condoned and it's still addictive. So I don't even know what that means. But either way, just so y'all know, eggplants and tomatoes have nicotine in them too. So um, anyways, because <clears throat> they're nightshades. By the way, check out, uh, look at the size of the red onions. They're doing so good. I'm really excited for that this year. Oh, well, we have cilantro coming up in random spots because there was cilantro in here last year. So the seeds are all over the place. Um, oh yeah, these are the Egyptian walking onions. They're all doing really well. Really happy. Yeah, see, this is the brassicas I'm talking about. <laughs> They're all getting really big. And I did transplant some amongst the random spots because there was supposed to be garlic coming up all through here. But I only ended up getting three, for some reason, well four, but this one's really sad, and this one's kind of sad, but those two are really happy. So, no idea what happened to the garlics this year, but it is what it is. Every year has its, uh, some plants are bountiful, some just don't do good, so we'll just see how it goes. But I am still kind of weaning through these brassicas because there's so many. There's... What did I even put in here? <laughs> There's uh, broccoli, kale, um, Brussels sprouts, and is that it? I think that's it. Throw it down in the comments if you remember if I put anything else in there. See, this is me sometimes. I don't even write it down because you know why? I just let it grow and then I deal with it. <laughs> Look at that. Salvia. Starting to flower up 
This is awesome. That's going to attract a lot of pollinators. Poll pollinators. Pollinators really close to the other flowers, all the other veggies. So. so want, oh, yeah. Check out the sorrels. Do you remember the sorrels last year? Yeah. Don't know what happened this year, but they decided to explode. Check out the size of these leaves. I didn't know I was. this is what I was in for. But it is. And they're seeding. Well, they're flowering. So I'm going to try to collect the seeds this year. Should be super cool. Holy crap. She bitter. Not bitter. Sour. Really good though. <laughs> Lemony. Punch. I did throw eggplants here. We don't know. Ooh, that, that's Sorrel. Anyways, I don't know if any of them are coming up yet. The eggplants, I don't know if any of these are them. But we do have the other okras. One, two, three, four, five little okras. Oh, that's cool. More okras over there. And, uh, Sage is doing good. This is a Greek oregano. It's doing good. Ooh, it smells really nice. And this is all the wild peppermint. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Oh, and I decided to throw chickpeas in this little tiny pot. See, this is a lot more, I'm gonna do a lot more of little pot planting. Not pot, but pots, potted plant. Anyways, so these are little chickpeas. So I've never tried doing that. See how it goes. Garlic mustard. Didn't know that I still had some in this pot. Um, oh, this is another fancy shamanic plant I got the other day. Dream root. So apparently it's from Africa, and apparently they ate the roots to have more lucid dreams, more vivid dreams, which is like, wow. Anyways, I want to try that. So wish me luck on that. I want to try growing a lot more unique herbs from around the world. So, and that's all. This is all just pineapple weed. There's some growing right there. This is the uh, lavenders. They're actually starting to shoot up the flowers. These guys are doing really good. Check out the um, zucchinis. Got four. No eggplants, though. Because they are a nightshade, like tomatoes. Oh, that actually might be them right there. That's probably them right there. Two eggplants. Nice. Sweet. So they will be popping up. They are just a little slower. Because nightshades take a bit longer to germinate. So, see the little seeds. Yeah, everything's grown really well. It's May 6th. I don't know if I said that already. It's the 6th. May 6th. May 26 today. Holy, I'm all over the place. Um, speaking of all over the place, this garden's all over the place. And our, what I'm pretty much out of all this, what I'm concerned, well, what I'm thinking about the most is his hops. He might not grow any flowers this year. He might just end up, uh, like, getting big and then next year he will do it, but I can't say can't be for sure. You never know. Can't be too certain about it. I've never grown hops. But I think I think that's it. Ooh, that's all the updates in the garden. Ooh, sorry. That freaking Sorrel got me good. Anyways, all my seeds are blowing around. The wind's picking up once again. But uh stay tuned for these. I really hope they grow. And we're gonna give it a try at least so but anyways the wind's picking up thanks for watching probably gonna get a storm blowing in and yeah <laughs> the wind's blowing really fast I'm starting to lose my balance anyways subscribe like and whoa see you next